Welcome to Tattooed Nerd. Here's three simple tricks in Zoom Whiteboard I bet you didn't know. What we wanted to talk about today was uh, whiteboarding inside of Zoom. Uh, Zoom's had whiteboard for a while. Uh, they really revamped it last year uh, in the, during, um, during the innovation phase of, of whiteboarding. They've actually made it even better, right? So there's a few new things in, in the Zoom whiteboard. I want to show you today. It's, it's dependent. It's actually probably dependent on the version. So I'm using, just so you know, I'm using version 5.13.5. These were previously in other versions, but... Go ahead and upgrade your client to 5.13.5. And again, I'll wait. Fantastic. So let's dive into three things in Whiteboard. I bet you didn't know we were there. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you is something I use literally all the time. If you've been in meetings with me, brainstorming with me, you know I love a good mind map. Zoom now has mind map inside of the in meeting whiteboard and here's how you use it you on the left side the left nav bar left left navigation bar you're going to see more tools under more tools you're going to see you guessed it mind map and what this allows you to do is two different kinds of mind map horizontal or vertical i'm a big horizontal mind map guy if you're a, a vertical mind map person knock yourself out but you can now add mind maps as a visual diagram used to kind of help organize your thoughts when you're brainstorming with your colleagues and coworkers and partners and vendors, or whoever you're brainstorming with. And what that allows you to do is create a mind map with a central theme. And then you can start going offshoots of that mind map. So we're talking about like my item one, or we're just gonna do item one here, right? And item one might have a subdirectory of, of task B, A and B and task B, task B. And we're just gonna delete that here. This was just an example I was coming up with. And what that allows you to do is then start mapping out all these ideas. And so even if you have an item number one, you want item number two, and then you can do a subcategory of that item number two and help you brainstorm all these things. And then you can start moving these around. You can move them around dynamically and switch ways with it. And what you can allow you to do is come up with another idea. And then you can move these around too. And you can, all these can be subcategories. And then if it starts to get messy, guess what you can do? You can have Zoom tidy it up. And what you can do is on every single uh, subdirectory, you can tidy it up. And it kind of makes it look a little bit better than, than probably what I'm doing. So then when you're adding second ideas, you can now theoretically map out this brainstorming session with mind map. Second idea, I love what they call cards here. And cards are a way to, to organize tasks with due dates and calendars. So I'm gonna add a card right here. And so say I'm in a meeting with somebody, I'm gonna assign task within the whiteboard itself. I can say assign task. And now look at this. I can now pick out who is in charge of this task. I'm gonna make my admin uh, in charge of that task. And now I'm also gonna make him have it due by tomorrow. <laughs> And then say tomorrow comes and we go back to the whiteboard and the admin comes in and says, you know what? I've actually uh, done, done some progress on that task. Check mark here that allows them to update the task. So after it's done, we could indicate visually that it's done. That's a simple, simple way to do and effectively use tasks inside of a whiteboard. Okay, so we've gone over mind mapping. We've gone over uh, tasks. Let's look at how we can organize maybe a bunch of tasks in the progress that they're in. We can add a Kanban board to it. Check this out again, go to more tools, Kanban, and now we can add a Kanban board to our whiteboard overall. And what this allows us to do, I'm gonna just draw it right here. So we created this Kanban board and we can obviously title it something different if we'd like, uh, demo. And then we have to do task, in progress tasks, and done task all built into this Kanban board. And what we're gonna be able to do is create cards inside of this Kanban board. So we're gonna create a, just a, a simple title board here title, board, demo, and look what we can do. Again, assign tasks, assign uh, admins, dates, as well as progress, but we can add as many as we want. Item number two, right? And we can add multiple to-do tasks from this, make your bed, whatever relates to your project. Then we can actually move these in progress reports. So say for example, we assigned the admin this, this demo, they can then adjust it to in progress. And guess what? They can move it over here. And then we, uh, you came in here and you're like, hey, you're gonna assign, I'm gonna assign somebody uh, my bed, making my bed. And we're gonna assign somebody to make my bed. We're gonna assign the admin, he's a busy guy. And then the admin comes back and says, hey, I've actually made my bed. I'm actually gonna be done with it. Guess what? We can move it to the done pile. And now we can organize all those tasks and cards within a Kanban board, all doing it inside of Zoom Whiteboard. Here's a cool other trick that I use a lot. 
What if I want to have a central whiteboard, but I want multiple pages inside of that or multiple whiteboards inside of a central whiteboard? I can do that. Look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I can actually add multiple pages to my, my existing whiteboard and organize them all within one central whiteboard. That's a super cool trick. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed that little whiteboard lesson. I am Patrick Kelly. I'm a Zoom Distinguished Architect. I am a full-time employee of Zoom, but I am not a spokesman or a figurehead for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology. And a lot of times, that has to deal with Zoom. So if you like these tips and tricks that I showed you today, know that I have hundreds and hundreds of more. Just subscribe on my YouTube channel, and you can search all the videos I've done on Zoom.